Hi, so this is another section of Baltic Artists Awards 2019, and this is the work of Aaron Hughes, which was selected by the artist Michael Rackritz. It's called Poetry Despite, Music Despite, Eternal War Requiem. It's a multi-tiered exhibition. I think when you first come into the space, you see the images. It's these very striking black and white uh, woodblock prints. But there's a lot of different things going on. Um, you see the, the cello in the middle, and that points to maestro Karim Rasfi. And he's a, a musician in, in, in Iraq, and he actually plays music on kind of bomb sites. There's a lot of interlinking stories in this exhibition. Um, Aaron Hughes, um, he's an artist, but he was also a soldier in 2003, 2004 in Iraq. So he's an American soldier who, who was stationed in Iraq. And his work, it's very much um, making connections between wars of the past hundred years. These images are based on a series of poems by Wilfred Owen. Um, Wilfred Owen was a World War I poet. He was a trench poet and, and he created poetry about war, about the, the trauma of war. And he said that all he could do was, uh, as poets was to warn people, warn the future. But if you think World War I ended kind of 100 years ago and and wars are going on all the time. I think this is why it's called Eternal War Requiem, because there's always wars going on. And if you think back to what Wilfred Owen said about learning from war, well, it's just not happening. The exhibition, to say, it's poetry despite, music despite. And it's um, despite the horror of war, despite um, the trauma of war, uh, despite the, the destruction, it's very much about people still creating music like Karim Rasfi, um, still creating art, still creating poetry, and, and still finding a beauty and um, a kind of humanity within all of that destruction. All of these nine images are based on poems by Wilfred Owen, and uh, the titles come from uh, Wilfred Owen's. So if we look at this image, it's called Anthem for Doomed Youth. You feel like you've seen this kind of image before, and you think, oh, it's religious. It looks like a stained glass window. It looks like the kind of window that you see in a church. So you see one thing, but the closer you come, you see all of these um, there's bones, there's skulls. There's very much a kind of sense of terror and the horror of war. But there's also instruments, there's cellos, there's um, trumpets, there's tubas. And it, it's as if it's kind of saying, you know, just all of the things that could have been created, all of these features that could have been made, all of this music that these people could have made themselves or listened to or been part of, is to say it's just kind of um, been, been destroyed and become part of a, a kind of a, a war landscape. So this one is called um, The Next War. And um, this image, is, it's quite terrifying. It's as if it's kind of looking at um, kind of where will these wars lead us to? You know, what, what kind of future are we going to? Because we're here kind of all of the different wars and they seem to get more barbaric as, as we kind of supposedly kind of progress in, in society. Uh, so Aaron Hughes, um, he said that when he was creating these woodblock prints, uh, creating this artwork, that he listened a lot to Benjamin Britten, the Benjamin Britten War Requiem, and they were based on Wilfred Owen's poems as well. He also talked about the connections that are made despite war, the friendships that are made despite war. And it's to say that humanity and that communication and that camaraderie that kind of comes out of war as well. The basic element of the, of the exhibition is that, that people keep on going despite all of the trauma and horror of war and keep on creating. They keep on creating music, they create poetry, they create rap, they, 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 they just continually kind of uh, process these kind of things within art.